Hey guys, here we are at the beginning of 2019 and it is time for me to talk about all of my unread books of 2019. All these books back here on my shelf that I haven't read yet. Now I am recording this on December 24th. We've still got, um, what, a week left of the year. So there will be some of these probably that hopefully I will finish before the end of the year. And if they, if there are, I will make a note here on the screen somewhere. So last year I ended up with 204 unread books on my shelves. I've read a lot, but my 2018 book buying ban did not go as well as I had planned. So I have added a lot more to my shelf. So let's see how many books I have right now on my unread shelf that I need to read in 2019. Because again, one of my goals for 2019 is to read the books that I currently own. In the comments below, let me know how many you think back here I have on my shelf that are unread. Go ahead, we'll take a minute, put a number down there and let's see how close you get. Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel, Ifers Inklings. Today we are going to be doing my ultimate TBR of my unread physical books. All these books you see back here that are unread, those are what I will be showing you right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a shelf at a time and I'll hold them up, tell you the name and the author, and that's it because um, we don't want to be here all night. So the only books that I'm not going to include on this are my poetry collection books because those are ones that you read a poem here, you read a poem there, and you don't usually sit down and read an entire poetry collection in one sitting or, you know, um, for at least I don't. And I've got some chunkers up there. I've got four or five Bukowski poetry collections that I still haven't read um, all the way through. And I just read a poem here, a couple poems here, a couple poems there as so I in the mood but what I am gonna start off with are three books that I'm hoping to actually have finished before the end of the year and that is Mouse um, by Art Spiegelman this is the complete collection it is a graphic novel Marzi by uh, Marzina Sala this one I've actually also started. I've started the mouse as well. So hopefully by the time that this is up, it is done. And then Becoming Michelle Obama by Michelle Obama. This is a book club. This is my December book club book. We were supposed to meet on Thursday, so in two days. But we've postponed it with the holidays and stuff. It's, you know, everything's crazy. So we're going to actually meet in January for to discuss this one. But it is an Oprah, Oprah book club book, and it's needed. I need to complete it by the end of the year for a prompt on my book riot read harder challenge for this year. Almost done. So this first set of books are all of my autographed, unread collection. Breathless by J. M. Lamp. The Stars Are Fire by Anita Shreve. Tradition by Brandon Brendan Kylie. Replica by Lauren Oliver. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rudeski. A Night Divided by Jennifer A. Nelson. And Noteworthy by Riley Redgate. Out of Easy by Ruta Sepetis. Eliza and Her Monsters by Frances Francesca Zapia. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, The Gauntlet by Karina Rossi, What to Say Next by Julie Baxbaum, From Twinkle with Love by Sandaya Menon, The Secret Keepers by Trenton Lee Stewart, A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colhurst, and The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Murder is a Family Business by Heather Haven, Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings, Bygone Badass Broads 
52 Forgotten Women Who Changed the World by Mackenzie Lee. My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Metters. But Then I Came Back by Estelle LaRue. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. The Rose Society by Marie Lou. Worlds Erased, A Grandson Search for His Family's Holocaust Secrets by Noah Letterman. And The Way Station by Lori Jameson. I have started this, I'm about halfway through, if you can see. Ace of, Sh Ace of Shades by Amanda Fruity. The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodgins. Language of Thorns, Midnight Tales and Dangerous Magic by Lee Bardugo. Vast in the Night by Sarah Porter. The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd Jones. Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. Mirage by Samaya Dowd. Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. Sky in the Deep by Adrian, Adrian Young. Save the Date by Morgan Matson. Three Dark Crowns by Kendera, Kendera Blake. The Glass Spare by Lauren DeStefano. Dark Breaks the Dawn by Sarah B. Larson. Wild Beauty by Anne Marie McElmore. And Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. This next group is going to be all of my unread but not signed books. Vitro by Jessica Corey. Girl Meets Boy. Edited by Kelly Milner Halls. The Kind of Friends We Used to Be by Frances O'Work Dowell. Tell Me Three Things by Julie Baxbaum. Public Enemies by Anne Aguirre. Ariana's Children by Tiller J. Mazio. Ugly by Robert Hodge. Standing for Socks by Elisa Brent Wiseman. Scrawl by Mark Schulman. Boys of Summer by Jessica Brody. And Trace Evidence by Kathleen Rikes and Brendan Rikes. A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. The Grief of Others by Lee Hagger Cohen. The Short Stories of Ernest Hemingway. This Side of Home by Renee Watson. New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. 1984 by George Orwell. Confess by Colleen Hoover. Love and Gelato by Jenin, Jenna Evans Welch. Every Other Weekend by Zulma Renee Summerfield. All Rise for the Honorable Perry T. Cook by Leslie Connor. Like It Never Happened by Emily Adrian. Circling the Sun by Paula McLean. The Wish House by Celia Reese. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. That was my neighbor shooting off fireworks. The Anatomical Shape of a Heart by Jen Bennett. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. The Uglies by Scott Westerfield. The Waking Engine by David Edison. Miss, Port, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. American Girls by Allison Uminger. Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. Firestorm by David Class. How They Met and Other Stories by David Leviathan. Ready for Wild by Loria, Leora Blake. Serafina and the Twisted Staff by Robert Beatty. Second Star by Alyssa B. Shinemail. The Queen of Bright and Shiny Things by Anne Aguirre. Push Girl by Chelsea Hill and Jessica Love. Jackie Ha Ha by James Patterson. A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. 
Wanderlust by Jen Malone. I Am Princess X by Cherry Priest. The Butcher of Beverly Hills by Jennifer Colt. Back in the Game by Lori Wilde. Miss Bixby's Last Day by John David Anderson. Mark of the Thief by Jennifer A. Nelson. The God of Small Things by Aradotti Roy. The Cost of All Things by Maggie Learman. Body Surfing by Anita Shreve. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Lo Love Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vicini. Death by Bikini by Linda Gerber. About a Boy by Nick Hornby. The Evolution of Caliprina Tate by Jacqueline Kelly. Sold by Patricia McCormick. Close Enough to Touch by Colleen Oakley. Back When You Were Easier to Love by Emily Wing Smith. And The Anatomy of a Misfit by Andrea Portes. Rich and Pretty by Ruman Allman. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. Dirt by Denise Gollisner Orenstein. The Realm of Possibility by David Leviathan. The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. The Ice Queen by Alice Hoffman. Seven Days in May by Kim Izzo. Whirlwind by David Class. Losing Brave by Bailey Madison and Stephanie Miller. People Like Us by Dana Mealy. Everyone Brave is Forgiven by Chris Cleave. The Alchemist, The Secrets of the Immortal Nic Nicholas, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Famel by Michael Scott. The Reader by Tracy Chi. The Careful Undressing of Love by Corey Ann Haydu. All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty. Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes by Jonathan Oxier. Tears of the Dark Water by Corbin Addison. And Hope Nation, a collection of essays edited by Rose Brock. Wander by R.J. Paliso. Posted by John David Anderson. We Are Still Tornadoes by Michael Kuhn and Susan Mullen. Ghoul by Maurice G. Three Willows, The Sisterhood Grows by Ann Brashears. The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Iturbi. I Iturbi. Icons by Margaret Stoll. We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. 20 Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler. Beside a Burning Sea by John Shores. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. Hungry by H.A. Swain. Hotel for the Lost by Suzanne Young. How to Meet Boys by Katherine Clark. Unschooled by Alan Woodrow. Reformed by Justin Weinberger. Feathers by Jacqueline Woodson. Saints and Villains by Denise Garadina. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. My First Love and Other Disasters by Francine Pascal. And Wicked Business by Janet Abonovich. Renegades by Marissa Myers. The Bar. Tholomus Trilogy, Book One, The Amulet of Samsmark, Samsmarkin, Samsmarkin, I don't know, by Jonathan Stroud. The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagawal. Both of Me by Jonathan Friesen. The Good Sister by Jamie Kane. Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. And Wish Girl by Nikki Lofton. The Scour. The Scourge by Jennifer A. Nelson. The Museum of Intangible Things by Wendy Wonder. Geekerella by Ashley Poston. When the Moon Was Ours by Anne Marie McLemore. The Gallery by Laura Marks Fitzgerald. The Pool of the Moon by Elizabeth Berg. Etiquette, Etiquette and Espionage 
by Gail Carriger. Don't Cosplay With My Heart by Cecile Castellucci. The Color Purple by Alice Walker. The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matthew. Harper Lee's Go Set a Watchman. And The Bookseller by Cynthia Swanson. The Blue-Eyed Abor Aborigine by Rosemary Haynes. A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delarea. Zodiac by Romania, Romi, Romania Russell. Slammed by Colleen Hoover. Bright Young Things by Anna God Bershin. God Bershin. Vixen by Jillian Larkin. Big Little Lies by Lainey Morardi. These Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. When Pride Still Mattered by David Mar Marinus. Beneath the Mountain by Luca D'Andrea. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. The Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. Pivot Point by Casey West. The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Venomous by Christopher Crovington. The Poison Eaters and Other Stories by Holly Black. Crazy by Han Nolan. Alice in Time by Penelope Bush. The Odds of Lightning by Jocelyn Davies. The President is Missing by Bill Clinton and James Patterson. Mortal Dangers by Anne Aguirre. Love and Other Unknown Veritables by Shannon Lee Alexander. Injuin by Jillian Larkin. Refugee by Alan Grotz. Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Hex Hall by Rachel Hodkins. Salt by Maurice G. The Beast by J.R. Ward. This Song Will Save Your Life by Ly Lila Sales. Split Second by Casey West. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. A Close and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Wayne. The Bookstore by Deborah My Myler. Graffiti Moon by Kath, Kath Crowley. Catching Stars by Kayla Keenan. Memoirs of a Teenage Am Amnesiac by Gabriel Zevin. Sleepy Hollow and other short stories by Washington Irving. Maniac McGee by Jerry Spinelli. Nori Ryan's Song by Patricia Riley Giff. Vampire Academy by Rochelle, Rochelle Mead. Split by Swati Avasti. Still Alice by Lisa Genova. Paintings from the Cave, three novellas by Gary Polson. The Color of Rain by Corey McCarthy. Murder in Little Rock by Jan Mines. Macaroons at Midnight by Suzanne Nelson. My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall. The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler. Always Neverland by Zoe Barton. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. And Pickle by Kim Baker. And here, The Here and Now by Amber Shears. Flimsy Little Plastic Miracles by John Curry Jr. Picture Us in the Light by Kelly Loy Gilbert. Down and Across by Arvin Amadi. This next section of books um, is going to be a mixture of signed books and non-signed books. The majority of these will be not autographed, but there will be a few of them in here that I've gotten since I did these shelves over here. Imagine Wanting Only This by Kirsten Radke. Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women in Witchcraft, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp. Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. The Rise and Fall of a Theater Geek by Seth Radeski. Ariel by Sylvia Plath. Sadie by Courtney Summers. The Best, American, the Best American Short Stories 
2017 edition as edited by Meg Walter. Snow and Love, a collection of four short stories by Melissa Dela Cruz, Nick Stone, Amy Friedman, and Casey West. The Best American Short Stories of 2018 as edited by Roxane Gay. The Dirty Girl Social Club by Alyssa Valdez Rodriguez. Mapping the Bones by Jane Yowen. Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kimminer. Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. A Long Way Down by Nick Hornby. How to Be Good by Nick Hornby. The Headmaster's Wife by Thomas Christopher Green. The Wild Girls by Pat Murphy. Faithful by Alice Hoffman. Slacker by Gordon Corman. Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. Pride by Abby Zobi. City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. Nerves and Wires by Marissa Meyer. Good Morning, Good Night, Little Pep Talks for Me and You by Lynn Manuel Miranda. In the Shadow of No Towers by Art Spiegelman. Robin by Dave Itzkoff. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Beg the Question by Bob Fingerman. Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Hotel Iris by Yoko Agawa. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. That is it. That is all of my 2019 physical unread books that are back here. How did I do? How many do I have? Did you guess correctly? Are there any books on this that I need to bump up higher on my, t my needs to be read list? Let me know in the comments below which ones that I need to make a priority in 2019 to read and to review because I do hope to review the ones on my shelf back here that I read. So, so check back with me at the end of the year to find out how well I did on reading all of my currently unread books of 2019. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up over there. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And check back tomorrow for a new video. Bye.